Probably went another way, but oh well. Well, how's it going, JDM crew? John here from JDM Expo, and I've got another inventory video for you. This time it's a R32, as you might be able to tell from this interior. Uh, definitely want to point out that we don't have an audio deck on here. We're actually thinking about throwing in a spare Caro's area that we've got. But, um, yeah, like, I guess the sky's the limit if you want to, to put in a Navi system or something else in there. So uh, I'll leave that up to you guys, but I'll probably mention it again later when we're doing the interior. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting R32 because, uh, well, we've got just under 7,800 kilometers, so roughly 5,000 miles, believe it or not. And um, this is a V-Spec 2. Uh, it's one of the N1s. Pretty interesting in terms of uh, rarity. But uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice, actually. Very comfortable. I believe the suspension's OEM. The height looks about stock. Um, could be a little bit less. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's got a really good stance to it. And as you can hear, it definitely pulls really well. It is more responsive than your typical GTR, so I just wanted to point that out, because um, it is a V-Spec 2. It's got a little bit more horsepower, even though it's rated at roughly about 276 you now the gentleman's agreement it's got a little bit more than that and yeah, we've got really good stopping power thanks to brembo brakes on here at least i'm pretty sure they were the uh oem brembos so i'll uh, take a look when we do the exterior walk around yeah there's a number of improvements with the v-spec too so we could definitely go about that in uh, another video but definitely want to show you that this model in particular uh, when it comes to mods, there's an intake, an exhaust, a couple of uh, computer gizmos here, like, uh, forget the brand, I'll double check it in a little bit, uh, a couple of different like valve controllers, and uh, I do know we have an Apex v AVCR um, and some other stuff on here, so um, definitely a couple of Apex components. And really overall with the V-Spec 2, you know, besides being a more limited version, it's got a lot more of reliability, which of course was improved later in the R33s and 34s, but you get a lot of that here towards the end of the line of the R32s. And so with these mods, it's definitely over 300 horsepower. While the gentleman's agreement does say 276, this is somewhere unofficially over 310. So uh, I definitely feels like it with the way this pulls, but it's actually pretty smooth too. As I mentioned, the reliability, or not just the reliability, but the responsiveness of this engine is totally better than your regular R32, you know, just the general GTRs. Like a, a lot of people might uh, be very critical about that because yeah, the regular GTR, it's uh, definitely, uh, well, you can build it up to whatever you want it to be, but in its stock form, it's okay. So with the uh, V-Spec 2s, um, and of course, like later in the R33s and R34s with the V-Spec, V-Spec 2s and those lines, it's uh, definitely much better on the engine response and they're following a bit of their, what they discovered during their racing careers with uh, a lot of the different vehicles that they had built during that time. So that's what you get here with the pinnacle of R32s with the N1 in particular like this. And so the exterior, it's a nice white color. We've got a couple of other little added trim components on here though, but like for the most part, it 
is pretty much uh, just a really clean looking R32. So we'll be at the garage here shortly, so let's just fast forward to that and I'll show you the uh, little bit more about the interior, which is very OEM. I mean, look at this, I've got the stock steering wheel and all. And um, yeah, we'll just look a little bit more at the details. So let's fast forward to that. All right, so starting from the interior here, as you can see, it's quite original. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good thing. Especially when you're talking about V-Spec 2 here. And yeah, dash is in good condition here. I'll try to get as much of that as I can. And uh, they actually put like this brushed, this wire brush thing. See, there it is. Um, not really sure if you could see that. But uh, it's it's a like vinyl sticker on there. So you can kind of see the reflection of me in there. And uh, here's the mileage. This is actual mileage, by the way. So this one has just been taken care of and chilling for most of uh, the last 20 plus years. So um, we also have this original steering wheel. So pretty much OEM. It does have a couple of other parts like I mentioned in the engine. So we'll look at the engine bay here in a second. We don't have an audio deck here. Um, it was taken out by the previous owner, but we do have a spare car Rosaria if you guys are interested or if you want something else. Well, that's up to you. So you could definitely mention that as an option. And we do have a Nismo shift knob here. A little bit of wear. It's definitely an older one. And uh, I'll step out here. It's a little bit noisy because we got uh, our neighbors putting up some scaffolding. They're gonna be doing some uh, siding repair, but uh, yeah, definitely wanted to show here all this good stuff. And carpeting is in real good shape. And of course we have the Apex AVCR and uh, we have the ASCR. Oh, what was the name of that company? There we go. And uh, show you the interior here. It's really good shape. And no sag. And we also have some updated LEDs there. Uh, also, these are LEDs as well. So modernized, even though uh, it's rather old. I'll just uh, pop the hood in the trunk here so we can get to it. Try to be a little bit quick because of the noise. And. Um, as you can see here, definitely plenty of trunk space. We do have the strut tower bar there. And um, as you can see, this is actually really good shape. It's not soggy or uh, messed up from any moisture. So definitely well taken care of. And we have all the tools and everything in here. so. Very nice. I like how they have the extra sound proofing in there just to help, even though uh, I know behind me is a lot of noise. <laughs> All right, so we do have the Apex, Apex Super Megaphone here. There's also a sticker under the hood just to show the genuine parts that are on here. So definitely it sits pretty good too. So you don't have to worry about scraping that for the most part, especially at stock height here. It's uh, just a little bit lower than stock, but it's, it's pretty close. And here we go, we'll look under the hood. I guess when I say stock, it's a little bit different between the uh, V-Spec 2 and the other models, so as you can see here A lot of interesting parts though and there it is for the AFC AVCR and the Super Megaphone from Apex, so Apex parts well chosen and it even says Skyline on the uh, little shielding there, so very interesting details Got the beat rush, brushed uh, radiator shroud there, or the little little flow, and maintaining the flow, you know, so you get all that cooling to the radiator, so you don't have all that 
air going around goes where it wants or where you want it to. You got the OEM radiator and a better radiator cap to keep that pressure down. And as you can see, the oil catch tank with plumbing to the engine. So, all in all, you can see uh, most of it's original. And so with the intake and exhaust, that definitely helps on your horsepower. Uh, while it is officially rated at 276, unofficially at a little over 315 horsepower, this is probably a little bit more with the electronics. It certainly feels better than a basic level GTR, you know, obviously a V-Spec 2, but it's not too crazy on the tuning, so uh, it's just a little bit more, but uh, definitely very gentlemanly, as that agreement would be. So as you can see, uh, we do have some silicon for the uh, air filters there. Interesting with the Samco. Kind of wish they had more Samco on here, but that's fine. Most of it seems to be original, which is awesome. And so you can also see some of the uh, vacuum and boost lines there. A couple of silicon hoses for different electronics and gauges and stuff here. So all in all, just a couple of mods, keeping it nice and clean. And also, uh, The good old glass from Ichiko. Genuine Nissan, as you can see. And uh, here's, we'll go around from the outside and uh, get a better look here. See that intercooler? Definitely pretty imposing. With uh, that Nismo guard right there, kinda keeps the airflow going through there. So really a lot of the parts that are on here are for reliability. So while it is styling, it's got that extra, extra reliability there to uh, maintain that speed. We'll show you the brakes here in a second. As you can see, we got the Brembo's on here. Front and rear, slightly larger, I believe, compared to the standard one. So, I forget the exact measurement though, but definitely it looks good. Also, we'll check up under here. And I can't get a view up, oh, there we go. So overall, you can see the condition of the paint's pretty good. Definitely taken care of. This, uh, they put this extra tape on top of there to protect the sticker from peeling off over the years. So a lot of times the original one's not even there anymore. Sorry about the noise. Yeah, our uh, neighbors are working on some stuff there. So uh, definitely everyone's busy, busy, even towards the end of the year here. Well, um, if you guys are interested in this V-Spec 2 or any other vehicles, make sure to contact our sales team info at jdm-expo.com. Uh, they'll let you know about this or uh, if you have if you're looking for something in particular, just let them know and they'll be able to uh, answer your questions or start searching for a particular car. Uh, check out our other videos and also on our website for other inventory. And if you have any questions about the process, make sure to uh, hit them up about that as well. You can also contact us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All those DMs will go to our sales team. They can get back to you within about 24 hours. So uh, uh, they have been pretty busy. So give, give or take a little bit around 24 hours. So. Anyways, um, thanks for stopping by guys and uh, of course very neat find surprised at the low mileage and definitely pretty good care 
taken for this vehicle here. So um, definitely check out those details on the registry and all that other stuff if you want to know more. And uh, also for any of our other cars because we definitely have a few more on the way that are pretty interesting. So look forward to that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.